All right, I'll try. Look at that phone now. Get on there. Take care. Come on, there we go. Meet us in the hospital pick when this troop tries that little trick. I'll say. stuff, Larry. You and Rocky are going to be a hard combination to beat. Well, Rocky really deserves most of the credit, Tim. I'm going hook, line, and sinker on you and Rocky to win first prize. Are you uh, well, Thanks for your confidence, boys. I sure hope we don't disappoint you. Hey, what do you want? Oh, I've got to give him his carrot. He always has to have that. Yeah, <laughs> always hungry. <laughs> Captain Saunders' orders. You and Tim do him at once. All right. Take care of my horse, will you, I'm Joe? Sure will. Well, I think you ought to brush up on that cartwheel a little. Oh, yes, I will. Hey, what is this? A twin ruined by some half wit. If I knew who did that, I'd punch him right in the nose. Well, here's the nose. Uh, oh, uh, so it's you. Don't hesitate because I'm a girl. Go ahead and smack it. Well, I suppose you think that's funny, don't you? Funny? My nose funny? I'll have you know I'm real proud of it, although it may be shiny. Uh, is it? Say, do you make it a habit of going around taking pot shots at people, Anita? No, but I expect to be the first female ranger in Texas. You know, that's what your organization needs, the feminine touch. Hey, hey, look out there. Just point that somewhere else, will you? Oh, you don't need to be afraid. It's empty, see? Give me that before you hurt yourself. Well, it's empty now, I think. Would you mind telling me just what you were shooting at? Why, uh, I was shooting at that target over there, behind the blanket. Mm-hmm. Well, that's probably why you shot my hat off over here. <sighs> Gee, I'm sorry, Larry. It must have been the wind. Say, maybe we better get in out of this uh, cyclone. <laughs> Graham and Raymond reporting, sir. Have them come in. Yes, sir. And I don't want to be disturbed. Yes, sir. Hello, boys. Sit down. Looks like he won't get into the contest at Amarillo this week, Larry. Oh, I don't mind that. Tim can do everything I can and do it a lot better. Yeah, well, that's what he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> this came this morning's mail. Better memorize it. This makes me a pretty tough mug. <laughs> have you familiarized yourself with the facts we have in the Belden case? That's all Tim and I have been doing since we reported here. That's why we sent for you. Prison officials have used every means in their power to get Belden to talk. But it hasn't done any good. He's tough. Take a look at this.
He got away with bonds worth a quarter of a million dollars and managed to hide them before we caught him. Was there anybody else mixed up with him? We don't know. Apparently, he's a lone wolf. We've arranged to have you placed in Belden's cell. When you're ready to make your move, the warden will see that you get out of the cell block, but that's as far as he can go. From then on, you're on your own. Your job will not be easy. It is impossible for us to take the guards into our confidence. If anything goes wrong, you will not have the state of Texas backing you up. I won't be able to do a thing for you. And remember, stick to Ace Belden until you locate those bonds. I understand, sir. Tim, you'll be the outside man. Well, Captain, would it be all right with you if I were the one to handle the prison end of things? Well, <laughs> you know... Uh, Tim after... thinks I'm getting the soft end of the job and he doesn't like it, right? No, it isn't right, but uh, I, uh, I think I should be the one to... You'll be on the outside and arrange things when Larry gets word to you. I'll leave at once, sir. Okay, Larry, and a lot of luck. Thank you. So long, Tim. For the next couple of months, I'm gonna get an indoor tan. Well, so long, Larry, and watch your step. You sure got a tough assignment. Now I'll be waiting to hear from you. What's on your mind? After the count up, I'm making a break. You're crazy. Nobody ever got out of this place that way. They got me in here for life, but they ain't keeping me. Ah, oh, they give me life a couple of times. Life's a wrap you can't beat, Ace. There's room for you if you want to come along. What makes you so sure you can make it? It's all set. There'll be a car waiting. And I got the swellest little hideout you ever saw. Dummy up.
My last Corona. Anita, will you quit playing? <laughs> oh, don't get up, Dad. I'll see who it is. A telegram for your father, Miss Saunders. Oh, thanks, Bob. That's a relief. Larry Graham affected escape from state prison. What does that mean, Larry Graham in prison? Why, uh, did he tell you anything about it? Not a word. Tell me, Dad, what did he do? He didn't do anything. Now, Dad, they don't put people in prison for doing nothing. Nobody put him in prison. He went of his own accord so he could escape. Sounds pretty silly, going to prison just to escape. Read the rest of the telegram. Accompanied by Ace Belden. Believe they are headed in your direction. It still doesn't make sense to me. We wanted Ace Belden out of prison, so Larry went in to help him escape. But you just put Belden in prison a short while ago. We wanted him out again. Why? To see if he would lead us to the bonds he'd stolen. Why didn't you just open the doors and turn him loose? We were afraid he'd shake off whoever was trailing him, get the bonds, and leave the country. This way, Larry will stick right to him. Well, that's pretty dangerous for Larry, isn't it? Oh, so that's the way it is. That's the way what is? You and Larry, right under my nose and me never seeing it. Dad. You don't think I'd flirt with any of the rangers at the post, do you? Of course not, of course not. But he is nice, isn't he? He must be, if you say so. Looks like Ace Belden. That is Ace. Wonder who those two guys are with him. Here's Ace. You better come out here. Hi, you boys. Well, Dave, ain't you gonna ask me and my pals to stop in for a spell? Nothing else I can do. Climb down, get in under cover. You boys stay here and keep your eyes open. How you been, Dave? This is the place. Mmm, nothing else. You guys might as well get acquainted, because they're sticking with me until me and you settle things. Sort of bodyguards. Is that right, boys? All right, Ace. This is Larry Graham and Tim Raymond. Dave Stone. How are you? Sit down, boys. Thanks. But if it's all the same to you, I'll take that chair in the corner. I like the feel of a wall against my back. Nervous? No, just careful. Yeah, Graham made the mistake once before of sitting with his back to a door. That's how he happened to land in the pen. Well, that's all right. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. That'd suit me fine. I don't doubt it. Don't you realize you're putting my neck in a noose by showing up here in broad daylight? The whole state of Texas is looking for you. 
And if they find me before we get rid of them bonds, they're going to find right with me. I am through being a sucker. We're both in on this deal, and I'm warning you right now. I ain't taking a rap alone no more. Well, you're to blame for the way things turned out. What do you mean? If you told me where you'd hidden the bonds, I could have sold them and got you a lawyer. Hey, Ace, who is this guy? Oh, don't mind him. He's harmless. Your bedtime story's got me sleepy. But before I crawl under the blankets, there's one thing I want to tell you. We've got to work together. I need you to sell them bonds, and you've got to have me to dig them up for you. So don't try to pull any fast ones. since I came in here. I wonder if they could be rangers. Now listen, I don't want them to know I'm wise. I'll slide out. If they start to follow me, you pick an argument with them to make a getaway. I get you. Well, hello, Joe. When did you get back in town? Why, hello, Buck. I just come in from the roundup. Sit down, let's have a date. Sure will. We're going to paint the town red. Say, bartender, bring us something to drink. I make the sap out of me, huh? Hello, Larry. Hi, Captain. Nice work, son. For a while, I didn't think you'd get away with it. Don't think you didn't have me worried. It was nip and tuck all the way. Sit down and tell me about it. Well, Ace led us straight to Dave Stone's ranch. He's hiding out there now. What? Dave Stone's mixed up in this? He and Ace engineered the deal. What about the bond? Ace is the only one who knows where they are, and he's not telling. You and Tim better pull out of there. We'll throw a guard around the place and watch every move they make. If we do that, they'll become suspicious, and we'll learn nothing. It's too dangerous. Pull out. I'm sorry, sir, but we're not quitting. You heard my orders. My orders from you, sir, were to stick to Ace Belden until I recovered those bonds. You're still a member of the Texas Rangers. Not according to the official records at headquarters. <laughs> I'll soon fix that. You can't, not unless I agree to it. I guess you have me, Larry. You win. Good luck, boy. Well, how'd you know where to find me? Well, when Dad left the house, I followed him. And when you left him, I followed you. Now, if you'll take my advice, you'll follow him right back again. Is that a nice thing to say when I haven't seen you for eight? You know, you don't look at all like an escaped convict in those clothes. Well, maybe not, but to you and everybody else, I am. And it's dangerous for you to be seen with me. You don't look very dangerous to me. Anyway, I can take care of myself. I was more or less brought up that way. You know, we're an out-of-door family. Now, I'll admit, you're a very extraordinary young lady. But in spite of that, it's still dangerous. Have you stopped to figure the danger to yourself? Well, that's all part of the game. But can't I do something to help? Then you still think we need the feminine touch? Of course. 
Anita, you're a nice, sweet, lovely little girl. Then you let me help? Yes. How? By turning that horse around and heading him for home and staying there. All right, Smarty, I'll show you. What are you going to do? You'll see. Now, as I was saying, I got a reputation. My work's known from one end of this country to the other. If I'm seen in town when a bank's knocked off, well, the cops will put two and two together, and the answer wouldn't be four. No, sir, it'd be Tim Raymond, the best finger man in the business, and Raymond's me. Organization's a thing. There's a technique to my business which takes years of study. Science advances and you gotta keep up with it. That sounds pretty complicated. I thought all you had to do was to pick out a bank, walk in, stick a gun under the cashier's nose and gather up the coin and beat it. That's the way they worked in the old days. But times have changed. Banks are wired and they've got guards and pillboxes with Tommy guns. Tommy guns are bad if you ain't the one behind them. You're right there. They are. Huh? Sure. Thanks, Ranger. Now you're on the wrong end of that Tommy gun you were talking about. Get down there and make sure of him. Now we'll go back and wait for his partner.
Did you think a cyclone struck the place? It kind of looked like it. What happened? Oh, just a couple of boys wrestling around. Oh, just letting off steam, huh? Yeah, that's right. Hey, Sam, where'd you go? Why, I went to you. Oh, you guys sick. better go in there and straighten things up a little. And fix Graham some grub. He looks kind of hungry. Okay. Kind of risky, wasn't it, going into town? Say, if you'd been in the pen as long as I have, you'd welcome a change of scenery, too. Yes, maybe he works the same way as Tim. How's that? Oh, sort of getting everything set before you move in and mop up. Say, what was it Tim called himself? Can you remember? Oh, let me see. It was Finger something or other. Oh, Finger Man. That's right, Finger Man. Said he was the best in the business. Was? Well, you mean is. Hey, where is he? He didn't say where he was going when he left. In fact, I don't think he knew himself where he was headed. He's probably getting acquainted with his new surroundings. You reaped already? Oh, uh, coming right in, Sam. Hey, we better not keep our chef waiting. <laughs> He's liable to get a little temperamental. <laughs> Well, from all Tim was telling us, he was a great guy for detail. Yeah, detail's an important thing in our racket. One false move. Now, see, there's a good example. Come and get it. You must be hungry. Yeah, I sure am. This looks good, too. You know, I've been puzzled how you and Ace were able to make the break from the state pen. First time it was ever done, ain't it? First time for everything. Have any help from the inside? No, nope. all my help came from outside. Oh, I see. From the organization Tim was telling us about, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, they're a great bunch. I never forget a fellow when he's in trouble. You can always depend on them. We didn't have much trouble, did we, Ace? No. Everything went off like clockwork. Why, well, I'd think a couple of smart guys like you and Raymond would hate to split the credit. I mean, the profits with anybody else. Well, we found out it pays. Lone wolves having a chance the way things are today. You're using your brains when you say that. Science advances, and we have to keep up with it. Organization is the thing. Haven't I always told you that? You sure have. Go ahead, tell us some more. This is mighty interesting. Well, I'll show you what training does for you. How working with an organization to help you in a tough spot. Now, uh, let's just say this is a bank. Uh, Dave, you'll be the president. And uh, you, Ace, you'll be the cashier. Come over here. Now, uh, get about in here. Let's see now. Yeah, that's about right. And uh, you, uh, Bart, uh, you're a customer trying to get a loan. Now, come over here. Just to make it a little harder, suppose we let Bart stay where he is. Oh, uh, well, uh, okay, yeah, that's all right. Uh, now, let's see, uh, yeah, about there like that. And uh, you, Sam, you'll be in on this, too. Now, you go into the other room, and uh, as I start backing toward the door, you come out and jump me, understand? Yeah, I understand. If there's going to be any scrapping, I think I'd better take this. You know, in the excitement, somebody's liable to get hurt. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I'll just pretend I have a gun. Now, uh, I tried to pull this job alone, see? I didn't waste any time staking it out. The only mistake I made was not looking behind me. I gathered up all the coin in sight, and I was just backing away, keeping the three of them in front of me under my guns. I got closer and closer to the door, and I was just starting to turn to take it on the run when something hit me from behind.
About time we were getting a little action around here. That's right. The Rangers allowed us to drop in any minute. We'd better get those bonds and head for the border. What do you mean, we'd better pick up those bonds? You heard me. Listen, Stone, this is my party, and it's going to be run the way I say. What do you mean, your party? You figured on holding out on me? You catch on quick. I changed my mind about cutting anybody in. I'm running this alone. Dave here as fast as you can. I'll take care of him if he tries to leave. Okay.
Reach for the ceiling, Ranger. Shack in Mid Canyon. Come on.
Oh, fine. Well, Anita, maybe you're right. We certainly needed a feminine touch that time. Take care of your prisoner. Say, from now on, you handcuff your own prisoners. Ranger. You know, you're still a wanted man. Thank you.